amid London's bomb-damaged buildings stands an unpretentious little workshop where that most famous of metals, the VC, is made. Forty-five years ago, a lad knocked at the door in Red Lion Street, now Britain Street, and asked for a job. Alec Forbes was his name, and he still works in that same metal foundry. In 1905, he was given the job of making his first VC. Now he's preparing to make his 751st, casting it by hand in the same way as he did all those long years ago. Watch those skillful hands at work, the same hands that fashioned the gold mounting for Monty's Field Marshal's battle. The foundry never uses machinery, and the men make their own tools for each job, just as they did when the little workshop first started a hundred years ago. Besides VCs, many other high decorations and orders have been cast here. Those symbols of honour, which lie behind the newspaper announcements, an investiture was held at Buckingham Palace today. The molten metal contained in this crucible is from guns captured at Sebastopol in the Crimean War, always used for the making of VCs. The metal is poured into the waiting mould. Soon it will have set, and except for a few final touches, it will be ready for a war hero to receive at the hands of his king. And now we'll see the result of all that skill and care. The mould is opened, and Mr. Forbes, who's made so many other famous decorations, including the handguard of the sword presented to heroic Stalingrad, lifts out the casting and examines it. And so another VC is made, bearing the simple words, for valour, the highest tribute that can be paid by Britain to courage and devotion. Mm -hmm.